welcome to my channel. So I have been in a really big slump lately and I have just been creating a change in my lifestyle and my day-to-day -day routines. I've been getting super inspired by all my favorite YouTubers because I feel like everyone is putting out these get my life together with me's and productivity vlogs and I kind of just figured it was time for me to try and actually make a change. I definitely struggled with trying to figure out what it is I should actually do because I feel like in all of these videos, people either spend like a ton of money on makeovers or they're doing these things which are just a little bit too far outside of my comfort zone right now. So I tried to come up with a list of some more general ideas that are more realistic for me while still being productive and helping me zest up my life a little bit. I managed to narrow it down to five things that I'm gonna try and accomplish in the next couple of months and they are to start a YouTube channel be more independent, adopt a healthier lifestyle, start journaling, and read more books. I feel like these things probably seem really small, but I am a little bit nervous about a couple of them. One of them is definitely being more independent. I have definitely become a huge homebody in the last couple of years, and I have a lot of anxiety about going out by myself because I also suffer from a health condition slash disability called POTS, which stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. It's a super long name, but that definitely adds to a lot of the anxiety about going out just because I get really worried about having a medical episode when I am alone, but I'm gonna try and encourage myself to start going out and doing things like taking myself on solo dates while still staying within my own boundaries of what's realistic for me, but pushing myself outside of my comfort zone little by little. I am mostly excited about starting a YouTube channel and journaling and reading more because these are all things that I've wanted to do a lot. It's just really hard to hold myself accountable. So hopefully after this video, I'm able to stick with everything. But I am super excited and a little bit nervous. So let's go ahead and start this off by heading over to Barnes & Noble on a little solo book date and hopefully finding some more books that I can add to my collection. Okay, so before we go in, I'm gonna try to make a mental list of things that I wanna get so that I don't go too overboard with buying books. I definitely wanna get the next book in the Throne of Glass series. I just finished, or I'm currently reading Air of Fire, which is the third book. So I'm gonna try to pick up the fourth one. And then I also want to try getting Daisy Jones and the Six because I keep seeing so many people talk about how much they like the show but I definitely wanna read it before I watch it. There's also a fantasy book that I keep seeing all over my bookstagram. I think it's called Fourth Wing, but it has really cool pages. I looked on Goodreads and it said it doesn't get published until a little bit later in May. So I'm hoping that they still have it in stock. And then after those three books, I probably just wanna try looking at the journals that they have in stock. I know Barnes and Noble tends to have like more expensive ones. So if I don't see one that I like, I might just order it off Amazon, but hopefully they have something cute. So let's head in and see what we can find.
back home now with my books from Barnes and Noble and I'm very excited. It was really hard to stay on track, but I ended up getting everything that I wanted plus one extra. The first thing that I got was a journal, of course. I was pleasantly surprised by their selection and I'm really happy that I was able to get it in this color. This is my favorite color right now. So hopefully it actually encourages me to keep journaling every single day. And then the next thing that I got, which I wasn't planning on actually buying, is Atomic Habits. They had a whole table dedicated to just this book so i was very intrigued and i have been seeing this all over the internet lately and people have had a lot of really good things to say about it so i figured i would pick it up and try it out and hopefully make a change in my habits for the better and then moving on the rest of these books are stuff that i actually planned on buying the first one is fourth wing which is literally one of the prettiest books i have ever seen in my life these pages are so gorgeous and i'm so excited to read something that's new because i have been on a huge fantasy kick lately and so far i've heard a lot of really really good things about this so very excited to read this and also display it on my shelf and then the next book that I got, of course, is the next book in the Throne of Glass series. I'm so excited to keep going with the story. I'm very happy also because this is a thicker book, which is going to keep me occupied for a really long time because I have just been flying through the other books in the series, but very excited to see where this one goes. And then the last book that I got is Daisy Jones and the Six. This is another one that I'm really excited to read just because I really want to watch the series and I've heard so many good things about it. The one thing that kind of caught me off guard was the writing style of this one because it's kind of written in like a play script format if that makes sense or I guess almost like an interview. So it's definitely different from anything I've read before but I've really enjoyed Taylor Jenkins Reid's other books so far so I'm very excited to add another one to my collection and hopefully I like this one even more than the rest. But that's everything that I got from Barnes & Noble so I am super excited to add the books to my collection and can't wait to start reading them. So I'm very excited because I randomly decided to check the Best Buy website and they're having a huge sale on all of their Kindles right now. I have been wanting to upgrade mine for a pretty long time. I just could not justify the price when mine was in basically perfect working condition. But with the sale, the Kindle that I've been wanting to upgrade to is like $50 off, which is amazing. And I'm super excited because all I've been seeing all over like my Instagram and my TikTok lately is people decorating their Kindles with like super cute stickers and cases and pop sockets. So I'm taking this as a sign from the universe that I am allowed to upgrade because $50 off is a lot of money. I just left Target right now and I think I'm going to head over to my local Best Buy just to see what they have in stock and compare the different models because I'm not really sure which one I want to upgrade to yet and I know there's different colors too but I'm super excited to go and see what they have and hopefully, fingers crossed, take one home with me. But anyways, let's go to Best Buy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I ended up going because they only had two left. So it was very good timing on my part, but I was really happy because I didn't actually think that I was gonna see it and really think that I needed the upgrade, but the new ones are definitely a lot nicer than the one that I have already. So I am super excited to set it up and start reading on it. Probably just gonna head out and get some food and then go home and start reading on it.
morning guys so it is the next day now and i haven't been up for too long i just took a shower got ready really quick and then made myself the matcha right now i was planning on reading for a little bit because i am so close to finishing era fire i only have about 25 percent of the book left so i'm definitely gonna try and get through the rest of this today i don't think i'm gonna read for a super long time right now though just because i also really wanted to get started on my journal this morning because i feel like if i keep pushing it off i'm just never gonna start it and then for the rest of the day, I'm thinking of just heading over to Target to pick up some stuff for myself. And then later on, I'm probably going to go over to Trader Joe's to get some food. I was also planning on trying to take a yoga class today, but I'm having a pretty rough POTS flare up this morning. So I think I'm just going to push it off for a little bit and take it a little bit easy today. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and sit down and read for a little bit and I will check back in with you guys later. So I finished reading for right now and I'm going to go ahead and get started on my journal. I went ahead and went through Pinterest so that I could try to find some inspo and I ended up coming across this company that sells journals with pre-made prompts and layouts and they sell a wellness journal that includes a lot of things that I think I would really enjoy writing and filling out every day. For example, it has a little spot for intentions for the day as well as thoughts and reflections on what went well and my activities that I had and it also has a spot for you to write down things that you're thankful for so I think it will be really nice and productive and something that I'm going to enjoy and actually look forward to doing and it works out really well because I actually got the dotted notebook so I can kind of use it as a bullet journal where I can create my own little charts and boxes it'll be a lot of fun but anyways let's go ahead and get started with it All finished with journaling for right now and I was originally planning on heading out to Target and Trader Joe's right now but I'm not really feeling all that great so I think I'm probably just gonna stay home and order some food for myself. I'm very excited though because I just got my new case and pop socket delivered for my new Kindle so I think I'm gonna go ahead and open it up get it all set up and decorate it with all my stickers and make it all cute. So I forgot if I mentioned it but I did get the new Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. I am so excited that I finally upgraded my old one. Here she is! I'm so happy. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And she is loading. I am so excited. So while it's turning on, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with decorating it. I did order some stickers for my old Kindle, but I'm super excited that I waited to put them on because now I can use them on my new one. So this is what I came up with. I love these stickers. I think they're so freaking cute. I especially love the one that says all I need is iced coffee in spicy books, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop the case on. Are you kidding me? This is so stinking cute. So the case and the pop socket are off Amazon and then all of the stickers I got from Etsy and I went ahead and set it up. I am not gonna read any of the Throne of Glass books on my Kindle just because I know for sure I want to have all of the physical copies in my collection, but I went ahead and purchased and downloaded Emily Henry's new book, Happy Place. I did actually pre-order the signed version, which I have a copy of on my shelf, 
but it's a hardcover book and I don't love reading hardcover versions so I just wanted to get that copy on my Kindle. But I'm super excited to have this now. I definitely feel like I'm gonna read so much more now that I have this especially at nighttime when I'm in bed. I'm gonna put this aside and hopefully my food gets here soon because I am starving.